Hey, what's going on guys? Oh, 50 hit experimental yesterday. Sort of feels like we were hitting the halfway mark, doesn't it? Like, oh, 050 seems like we're halfway of uh, the release version of the game. But there's a couple of new changes, one of which is the running animation, which looks like this. It's a bit iffy, may, may need some work, but we'll see. This one is the new uh, animation uh, stance for holding a pistol. But the bulk of this patch has been the new map edition. So there's a small little coastal town to the northeast of Svetlo, which looks like this. Don't worry, this is Armor 3, but it's the latest experimental map loaded into Armor 3. It just makes it easier for us to get these videos out quicker because uh, you get all kinds of admin powers and Armor 3 editor, obviously, that we don't have on Daisy. So uh, it looks pretty cool. This is the building that has actually already been in the game. It came from Scalisti Island. If you've never been on the island, this is one of the buildings that was that was on it and uh, it's been reused for this little, little area. It's probably going to be used as a boat spawn later on in the game, I presume. The whole area in between Novo and Severograd has also been filled in. So now there's a little power plant over here. It's going to speed it up. Uh, walk through it quickly. Uh, this is actually Popita Dam. If you rem if you remember this from the mod or if you played Arma 2, then uh, you've probably seen this. Uh, it's been re relocated from uh, Gzvotno. I hope I didn't butcher that name. Uh, been moved to the highway just west of uh, Novo. The whole area around Severograd and Severograd itself has also been finished and it looks absolutely stunning. Um, I'm going to be doing a full tour in this video uh, later on. I'm just going to be talking about what else is going to come into Experimental Branch pretty soon as a new dev blog actually just hit. And uh, the, the subjects that, that they're touching on is uh, Experimental Branch is now operating at 50 players per server. Uh, in the future, experimental cycles will have varying amounts of uh, maximum players to test the server strain. And uh, hopefully we'll be getting closer to the 100 player uh, mark that they're, that they're aiming for. I'm actually really excited for this change. They're finally upping the player count on the servers. This is one of the things that makes DayZ a bit boring at the moment. 40 players is just not enough to fill up the whole map as the map is pretty huge. It's actually bigger, bigger than it was in Arma 2. And uh, on Arma 2, like sort of like around 60, 60 to 65 players worked really well. And it's actually below that limit with a bigger map. So it doesn't really make sense. But uh, they're finally changing that. And it should make the game a whole lot more interesting. If you haven't played the game in a while, might be uh, worth picking it up after these changes have made it in. They're also touching on the hacker subject as new methods of detection are being deployed on experimental uh, that are going to work with BattleEye to hopefully prevent the hacking problem that has been going on whilst they're, uh, f they're patching up vulnerabilities in the system. We're only a couple of weeks away of being able to rent private shards, uh, private servers for Daisy that are going to run private shards of the central hive system that or database system that uh, Bohemia have. Um, there's not going to be a private hive as they're still dealing with uh, hacking problems and that kind of stuff. So the database is going to be controlled by Bohemia themselves as of now. One big change that's coming in in the next couple of months is the addition of zombie sensors and uh, improved AI for the zombies uh, that are going to help with the bringing back the stealth element of Daisy. In the Daisy mod, you were able to crawl around uh, zombies. If you're really quiet or really uh, low profile, zombies would actually have trouble seeing and hearing you. Uh, so that's actually coming back in. So the stealth element of um, you being stealthy in the town, crawling around, uh, not attracting any attention from the zombies that way is uh, going to be coming back in. I'm really excited for it because that, that's one of the favorite, as my favorite aspects of the DayZ mod. And to go along with that, the zombie count is going to be increased dramatically when that change hits. Heavy work is underway by the design and programming teams to support the uh, the first vehicle coming into DayZ, the V3S. And uh, as well as the first iteration of the barricading system, which is going to work with locked doors and uh, methods to break doors down. Many new types of zombies are actually underway as they uh, devise a new system that involves sort of having like a doll that they dress up with existing survivor clothing and uh, creating new zombie variants very, very quickly using that method. The, the zombie you're looking at right now is the grandpa zombie, which is currently in the experimental build, but uh, they're quite rare. There's only two pictures of them around right now on day one, and uh, they seem to be around Pregorotki and Vibor. 
War continues on many, many new types of uh, new weapons. Uh, the MP133 and the repeater rifle were both actually almost ready for release, but uh, they still need some sounds, and the sounds were delayed because uh, they needed to work on the door sounds, which obviously had priority over the weapon sounds. So that is why. But they're still working on the the Derringer, the Deringer uh, pistol, the the Stair Aug, the AKS 74U, and I believe the SVD. Although they don't mention that in the dev blog. So the last little things that caught my eye were in the notes. Uh, one of which is the prison uniform, and the second thing is a large military tent. So out of speculation, because it doesn't actually say what kind of tent it is, maybe it's just a model, or it could be a tent that you can set up yourself, which I'm actually hoping because the tent that we have right now is bright blue and easy to spot. <laughs> the, <laughs> the new large military tent is actually large, so I hope it's not too large that you can actually, you know, you know stick it in somewhere and hopefully people won't be able to find it, but we'll have to see about that. As for now, guys, uh, I'm going to leave you guys with the, the remaining tour of Severograd. It looks absolutely awesome. It looks really natural. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm, st I'm stuck! No. What the fuck? No.